Cambodia, its lush green landscape reflects a country rich in natural resources and human potential. But in recent years, there's been a dramatic shift in seasonal weather patterns. Climate change has begun to affect Cambodia's ability to feed its growing population, and it threatens to undo years of development progress. Among the countries affected by climate change, Cambodia ranks in the world's top 10. Most of its people live in rural areas, and they're overwhelmingly engaged in agriculture. But there's only limited infrastructure to mitigate the impacts of extreme weather, and nearly 50% of households and almost half the country's communes have been identified as being vulnerable to climate change. Cambodia's developed rapidly over the past decade. There have been major boosts to domestic consumption, tourism, agriculture and foreign direct investment. These gains have measurably improved the lives of many of Cambodia's 14 million people. But despite this economic progress, there's a storm on the horizon. Cambodia faces big challenges in adapting to and mitigating the impacts of climate change. In the last three years alone, severe flooding has killed more than 400 and displaced many thousands more, most of them poor. Tens of thousands of hectares of rice paddy were destroyed. Prolonged periods of drought have added to Cambodia's problems. The country has been ill-equipped to deal with crop failures and food shortages which have followed. UNDP is supporting the government in tackling the worst effects of extreme weather and changing rain patterns. The Cambodian Climate Change Strategic Plan aims to help the country's most at-risk communities at all administrative levels through adaptation measures, biodiversity conservation and access to energy. UNDP is also developing disaster risk management programs. Cambodia's rainfall patterns were predictable for centuries. They provided the foundation of the country's food security. And even today, four out of five Cambodians rely on agriculture for their livelihoods. But climate change has left them in a vulnerable position. Unpredictable weather patterns have hit the all-important rice growing season, pushing it later in the calendar and causing intense droughts and damaging floods. And the country has little capacity to adapt. Crop failure and food shortages have increased. Coastal communities and ecosystems face significant rises in sea levels, and higher temperatures and humidity may create conditions for malaria and dengue fever outbreaks. The poorest sectors of society, particularly women and children, will inevitably suffer the most. Uh, ແລະກະນະສງຸດគ្មានຕຶກນຸກໍມາອາດຖືສາຍການຈັ່ງກໍຕຸກເວຈາວໃຫ້ກໍມັນອາດດັງ <coughs> ការបំរែបម្រួលឡកាសធាតុកាលពីមុននោះអត់ <coughs> The Royal Government of Cambodia's response was to create the Cambodia Climate Change Alliance. It's a group of development partners, line ministries, local government institutions and civil society organizations. They've joined forces to strengthen Cambodia's adaptability and resilience to the impact of climate change. Funding comes from the European Union, Sweden and Denmark and it's supported by UNDP. Bỏ ớt miên ổng cang, chôn mà thơ áo ý 
bà chia chôn nhóm mong thơ sẽ bán thầm mặt đó mà chôn bán chôn ọt chẳng đá thơ bán thầm mặt đó ọt miên bà lái hôm lẹ châu lần lục bình ọt miên ông cá thơ áo ấy à cụ hay bà bán ông cá thơ áo ấy chẳng ấu bán tờ cân hồ mô bí chân nam mới dừng bán hộp khốp khốn hay việc bán lộ tịch tua chết đá chẳng ấy nà cụ hôn cháu ông về riêng sâu bán khốp khốn chẳng tâu the Cambodia Climate Change Strategic Plan aims to streamline its response to all climate-related issues. A climate change financing framework will be integrated into development strategies and planning at national, regional and local levels. Over the next 10 years, the plan will address the resilience of people living in rural and coastal communities. They depend on subsistence farming to support their livelihoods, but water is a big issue for them whether it's an excess of flood water or an absence of irrigation. Importantly, to curb CO2 emissions, this strategic plan also aims to promote low-carbon solutions to energy needs, such as improved cooking stoves, solar panels and the use of biogas, to help implement a greener, more energy-sustainable way of providing much-needed power supplies to rural populations. One thing is for sure, how climate change ultimately affects Cambodia and its uniquely vulnerable population is no longer a matter of conjecture. Through the Cambodian Climate Change Strategic Plan, Cambodia is committed to increasing its resilience across a range of possible future climate scenarios. At the same time, it's helping to improve livelihoods, social and economic well-being and the quality of the environment. The UNDP is actively supporting the country's capacity to address and strengthen its response to climate change. It does this through community-based adaptation initiatives and by its collaboration with the Royal Government of Cambodia and other development partners. These partnerships are ensuring the sustained delivery of programs that help affected communities become more resilient. By adapting to climate change now, Cambodia can reduce its vulnerability to its effects but it needs long-term financial and institutional support to make sure it's ready for disasters, and the Cambodian people will need continued help to better adapt to the changes they're already experiencing.